China has just reached a milestone that has left the world astonished. In the middle of the Gobi Desert, a small reactor producing only two megawatts of power has successfully transformed thorium-232 into uranium-233. For the first time in history, humanity has created uranium inside an operating nuclear reactor core. The project, called TMSRLF-1, was developed by the Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics under the Chinese Academy of Sciences. It is the result of seven years of research and an investment of about 3 billion yuan, marking a major turning point in the race for clean nuclear energy. But few people know that the United States began pursuing the same dream back in 1945. After 80 years, dozens of experiments, and billions of dollars in funding, America still has not achieved what China has just accomplished. Why was China able to succeed while the United States, the pioneer, came to a halt? Let's find out in today's video. I'm James, your host at China Discoveries Official. If you love stories about technology, energy, and the great achievements of humanity in China, be sure to like, subscribe, and join us as we explore what's redefining the future of global energy. In 1945 at Oak Ridge National Laboratory, the United States began experimenting with molten salt reactors, aiming to turn thorium into a new source of nuclear energy. During the 1960s, the MSRE project achieved only laboratory-scale results. Not a single reactor managed to produce uranium-233 during real-world operation. When the Cold War began, Washington chose plutonium for weapons instead of thorium for energy. The entire program was canceled in 1976, and for the next 80 years, the United States never succeeded in operating a single thorium reactor. The world closed a bold chapter of ambition, but in the East, that dream was quietly reborn. Nearly half a century after America abandoned its thorium program, China secretly restarted it. This time, not inside a lab, but as a national scale project. In 2011, the Chinese Academy of Sciences launched the Molten Salt Reactor Program, aiming not only to recreate old technology, but to perfect it for real-world application. By 2018, construction of the TMSR LF-1 reactor began in Wuwei, Gansu Province, on the eastern edge of the Gobi Desert. After five years of construction and an investment of about 3 billion yuan, the reactor reached criticality in October 2023 and achieved full power operation just eight months later. This is the world's first molten salt thorium reactor to operate stably, and the only one capable of breeding uranium-233 directly inside its core. What the United States began in 1945, China has now completed in the middle of the Gobi Desert 80 years later. The Shanghai Institute of Applied Physics, or SINAP, announced that the TMSR LF-1 reactor has successfully converted thorium-232 into uranium-233, laying the foundation for a new generation of clean and sustainable nuclear energy. This process, called in-core thorium-to-uranium conversion, relies on a complex chain reaction. Neutrons collide with thorium-232, creating protactinium-233, which then decays into uranium-233, an isotope capable of maintaining a stable chain reaction. All of this happens inside a 2-megawatt molten fluoride salt reactor, the only operating system in the world that uses thorium as its primary fuel. Unlike traditional uranium-based reactors that rely on solid fuel rods, TMSRLF-1 runs on liquid fuel, a molten fluoride salt mixture containing both thorium and uranium. When fission occurs, the heat is not transferred through water, as in pressurized water reactors, but directly through the molten salt, allowing the thermal efficiency to reach 40 to 50 percent, nearly twice that of a conventional uranium reactor. Most importantly, if the temperature inside the reactor exceeds safety limits, the liquid fuel automatically drains into an emergency holding tank, where the reaction stops naturally without human intervention. This mechanism, known as passive safety, completely eliminates the risk of a core meltdown, the same failure that caused the Chernobyl and Fukushima disasters. Inside the SEAL system, radioactive gases such as xenon and krypton are continuously removed from the fuel, 
keeping the reaction more stable, lowering internal pressure, and extending the reactor's lifespan. As a result, the entire cycle becomes almost self-balancing. Every thorium-232 atom that absorbs a neutron gradually transforms into uranium-233, and the newly bred uranium then sustains the chain reaction. In other words, TMSR-LF1 is a self-fuel regenerating reactor. Scientists believe this technology could open the door to an almost limitless source of energy, redefining the future of global power. A thorium deposit in Inner Mongolia alone is estimated to provide enough electricity to power all of China for more than 1,000 years. And when combined with fuel breeding technology, that number could extend to tens of thousands of years. In an era where oil and uranium still dominate the global energy landscape, thorium is emerging as a powerful alternative. This resource is three to four times more abundant than uranium, widely distributed across the planet, with major concentrations in China, India, Norway, and the United States. China alone holds about 1.4 million tons, accounting for 20% of the world's total reserves. Mainly located in Bayanobo, in Inner Mongolia, Sichuan, and Guizhou. Just one ton of thorium can produce as much energy as three and a half million barrels of crude oil or 200 tons of natural uranium. When optimized through molten salt reactor technology, a single thorium mine could power China for thousands of years, turning finite energy into an almost endless supply of electricity. Beyond its high efficiency, thorium is safer and cleaner. It cannot sustain fission on its own, virtually eliminating the risk of a core meltdown. Radioactive waste is reduced by over 90%, and its decay time drops from millions of years to just a few hundred years. With fuel breeding technology, China can produce uranium-233 directly inside the reactor, removing the need to import natural uranium, a strategic breakthrough in a world still dependent on fragile nuclear supply chains. For this reason, many experts call thorium the oil of the 21st century, a foundation for China's redefinition of energy independence. After successfully demonstrating the ability to breed uranium from thorium, China has not stopped at the experimental stage. The Chinese Academy of Sciences is expanding the project into a national energy strategy. A 10 megawatt commercial version of the TMSR LF1 reactor is expected to be completed before 2030, paving the way for 373 megawatt reactors powerful enough to supply electricity to a small city. The cost of generating electricity from thorium is about 25 Chinese cents per kilowatt hour, roughly 30% cheaper than uranium-based power and already competitive with renewable energy. This technology is now expanding beyond land. China is developing mini thorium reactors for container ships and offshore drilling platforms capable of operating for 10 years straight without refueling a breakthrough that could cut billions of tons of carbon dioxide emissions every year. With its vision of achieving carbon neutrality by 2060, China is building a clean, self-reliant, and sustainable nuclear energy ecosystem, where thorium is not just a fuel, but a symbol of technological strength and national independence. Meanwhile, other nations are racing to master the same technology, but none have achieved progress comparable to China's. The United States, once the earliest pioneer, has invested more than $5 billion in thorium research projects since 2000. Companies such as Flybe Energy and Terrestrial Energy are pursuing commercial molten salt reactor designs, but they remain stuck at the prototype stage, far from achieving stable operation like TMSR LF1. India, home to the second largest thorium reserves in the world, is advancing its three stage nuclear power program dedicated to converting thorium into uranium-233. Although the government has spent over $2.5 billion on its experimental reactor in Kalpakam, progress has been slow due to difficulties in controlling the reaction and the high cost of liquid sodium cooling systems. Across Europe, countries like Norway and France have conducted small thorium experiments since the 2010s. In including the Halden Reactor Project and the MSFR, or molten salt fast reactor, yet none have reached operational status. Canada and the United Kingdom have also poured billions of dollars into thorium research, but their projects remain in the modeling and simulation phase. 
After decades of work and tens of billions of dollars spent in laboratories worldwide, the world still has not produced a single thorium reactor capable of stable operation, except for China. In the heart of the Gobi Desert, where sand and wind blend with sunlight, the TMSRLF-1 reactor stands not just as a scientific achievement, but as the beginning of a new energy era, one where humanity can breed its own fuel and turn a forgotten resource into the light that powers the future. If you want to discover more about the incredible projects and technologies shaping the 21st century, make sure to subscribe to China Discovery's official and join us as we follow humanity's next great breakthroughs.